Hey guys, what is going on? Molly here, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys episode 2, or part 2, of The Talking Dead. And today I've actually got a pretty interesting episode planned, uh, because there's been a bit of a rumour going around recently uh, concerning Shane and episode 10, I think it was, 18 miles out, where him and Rick took Randall um, to like a, like a bus park or something. Uh, I can't remember what it was, it was like an... A bus lot or something, I can't remember. Um, to leave him there so we could get back to his group and not come back to them. Uh, and just get rid of him for once because he was being a nuisance to the group. Uh, and as you guys know, if you've seen the episode, it doesn't all go to plan. They end up getting swarmed by walkers. Uh, and Shane Shane gets chopped in the bus. Uh, he, there's, there's loads of them outside. Uh, he's just got a knife. And Randall and Rick are... They're elsewhere, they run off, um, and you think that Rick's going to leave Shane, but you know, you know he's not going to. Um, but he, he tells Randall to come with him and get in the car and they're going to drive off, but eventually they do save him. They drive past and kill the zombies and he gets out the back of the, bu out of the, back of the bus and gets in the car. Um, but when, when Shane's in the bus, he has to cut his thumb uh, to make it bleed, um, to rub it on the door handle of the... Of the bus, so the zombies can go towards it and it can stab them. But what we previously forgot about is that when they first got to the bus lot, they could see two walkers, and two walkers came to the fence. And Rick stabbed the first one, and then he told Shane to stab the other one. So Shane stabbed the zombie with the knife that he cut himself with. That might have transferred, well, that that will have transferred, unless he properly cleaned it, like fully sanitised it, that will have transferred part of the virus to Shane. And I think that is quite apparent if that did happen. Because it could be a pothole. And Robert Kirkman, the producer, has been asked about this. But he just shrugs it off and continues to say that it was a plot hole. I honestly don't think it was. Because I think this could have been planned very well. And if you think about it and you put all the pieces together, this would have made, like... It would have made Shane's death a lot more useful. Because there wasn't really a need for them to kill Shane off yet. Although he had already been killed off in the comic books. But there wasn't really a need for him to be killed off yet. I thought, I don't think he was going to at all. Uh, but then he did pull a gun on Rick and then Rick had to pull a gun on him. And it was a whole big mm, story. You know what happened. Um, but there are some signs there that he did have part of the virus in him. Uh, he began to breathe deeper after it. Uh, when he was in the hut with Randall before he let him out. Uh, he started to like, slap himself uh, and start getting annoyed with himself. He has mood swings, uh, which is another sign of a fever. Um, he was just getting mad at everyone, uh, and he was obviously getting mad at Rick because he tried to kill him. Um, he was a lot more short-tempered, but that really was apparent with Shane anyway, that he was short-tempered. Uh, and he, he sounds a bit wrong that I've noticed this, but he was sweating a lot more. And when you've got a fever, you do sweat. So that could have pointed towards it again, and I honestly think it does, uh, because it just all fits together because uh, maybe he did plan um this whole thing out because he said that he'd planned to get rick into the field to try and kill him but i don't think it was all just because of that i thought he planned the whole thing out for rick to no for him to kill rick but then oh, i'm just trying to put this all together for him to kill rick but then obviously rick would would try and fight back he wouldn't just let himself die so he let rick kill him if you know what I mean, because that, in, in that way, um, therefore he'd, he'd die by the hands of his friend and not the virus, he wouldn't get infected, he'd like, he wouldn't get infected basically, he wouldn't be a zombie, he wouldn't have to go through that of trying to kill someone, try to eat someone, which wouldn't be very pleasant, uh, but this is just my views guys, you guys can have different views, put in the comment section below what you think, I really want to hear what you guys think of this, uh, so I hope you've enjoyed this, this video uh please drop a like and a favorite for the next uh video on talking dead i'm gonna try and get it out a lot sooner than this one but i had things coming up like i had a friend staying over and we didn't sleep so i couldn't really do a commentary yesterday because my throat was all weird and it hurt and um sound like a bit of a pussy now so <laughs> i'll see you guys in a bit thanks for watching have fun today and see you later peace